In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding the inverse of a matrix to solve a two by two system of linear equations. We are given our system of linear equations and we're told that the matrix A, which is the coefficient matrix, taking each one of those coefficients in position and we're asked to find A inverse so that we can get this solution matrix. So I'll start by just writing out what we know. We know that this A matrix, negative 6, 7, 7, negative 8, when multiplied with the solution matrix, which is X and Y, that we will get the constant matrix, negative 5, 6. So this coefficient matrix, which we can call A, multiplied with this solution matrix, X, Y, which I'll just call matrix X. When I do this multiplication, I get the constant matrix, which I'll call B. And notice that the only unknown here is our solution matrix, which I'm calling X. But since A times X equals B for matrix multiplication, if I were to solve this expression for that solution matrix X, so not the variable X, but the solution matrix X, then that would give me A inverse times B. We know what B is. We just need to find A inverse in order to do that multiplication. So to find A inverse, I'm going to start with my A matrix, negative 6, 7, 7, negative 8. This is our A. And then I'm going to put in our partition and put the identity matrix on the right hand side. So we have the A matrix on the left hand side, the identity matrix on the right hand side. If I can turn the left hand side into the identity matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1, then the right hand side will be A inverse. And as before, we'll use row, multiplication, and addition. Starting off, I would like this element to be 1, turning the left hand side into the identity matrix. So I would multiply negative 6 by negative 1 6. Multiplying negative 1 6 times negative 6 is a positive 1. Negative 1 6 times 7, a negative 7 6. Negative 1 6 times 1, a negative 1 6. And negative 1 6 times 0 is 0. So we have the 1 in that upper left hand side. For now, in this step, we haven't done anything with the bottom row. So I'll just bring that down. But in our next step, we will want to make this seven turn into a zero. And I can do that by multiplying the top row by negative seven and then adding it to the bottom row. Negative seven times one is negative seven. Negative seven plus seven is zero. Negative seven times negative seven six is a positive 49 six. Getting a common denominator to add with that negative 6, that would be negative 48 over 6, which gives us a 1 sixth. Negative 7 times negative 1 6 is a positive 7 6, plus 0 is 7 6. Negative 7 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. And we can bring down that first row, 1, negative 7 6 negative one, six, zero. Next, I would like this position to become one. So I'll multiply this bottom row by six. We're not doing anything with the top row, so I'll bring that down. Six times zero is zero. Six times one sixth is one. Six times seven six is seven. And six times one is six. We've almost completed turning the left-hand side into the identity matrix. I just need to make this negative 7, 6 a 0. And so to do that, I can multiply the bottom row by a positive 7, 6. 7, 6 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 7, 6 times 1 is 7, 6, plus a negative 7, 6 is 0. 7, 6 times 7 is 49, 6. Adding to negative 1, 6 is 48, 6, which is 8. 7, 6 times 6 is 7, plus 0 is 7. Rewriting that bottom row, we have turned the left-hand side into the identity matrix. So our A inverse 
will be 8, 7, 7, 6. Now that we have A inverse, we can look back and see that our solution matrix XY is equal to A inverse, which we now know is 8, 7, 7, 6. So that would be our first matrix. The second matrix is going to be our B, which we've already said is negative 5 and 6. Now that we've written that as multiplication, we can find X and Y, which recall that our X matrix is the solution matrix X, Y. We just need to multiply the right-hand side. Doing matrix multiplication, 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. 7 times 6 is a plus 42. And then 7 times negative 5 is negative 35. And 6 times 6, a plus 36. We can now simplify. Our solution matrix X over Y will be 2 over 1. So X is 2 and Y is 1. We've solved by finding the inverse matrix.